sunshines! Today I want to talk to you guys about prompts and what to do when you lose steam for writing your novel. One of the most challenging things about NaNoWriMo is writing when you have no inspiration or when you have no energy left whatsoever to put toward your novel. And the thing about NaNoWriMo is to accomplish the end goal, writing that average of 1,667 words that they suggest is really, really a helpful way to do that. It's really hard for me to make myself do things when I don't want to do them sometimes. It's just kind of a human thing. But the key to winning NaNoWriMo is to do it anyway, to push through and just do it anyway. And sometimes it sucks. Sometimes writing is not fun and not what you want to do. But the key to winning NaNoWriMo is to just do it anyway. So here are some tips that I've compiled to help you guys just do it. First are the NaNoWriMo forms. The NaNoWriMo forms are really helpful. In this case specifically, I think that the Adoption Society board is pretty awesome. Basically this board is full of people who are leaving character names, plot twists, novel titles, ideas for entire stories, whatever, they're leaving it in this board and you can adopt XYZ. You can also leave things for other people to adopt if you have an idea but you just don't know what to do with it or you don't really want to follow through. So definitely if you can, when you take one, leave one, but the Adoption Society is a great place to go for a kick in the pants. <laughs> There's also an app that Christina introduced to me. I'm not sure if this was last year or just randomly during this year. It's an app called Prompts. And basically what prompts does is it gives you word prompts. So it'll say things like, what if it was opposite? Or what is the feeling? And sort of give you an idea to kind of keep moving forward with. Super helpful, it's only 99 cents. And I foresee myself using this in the future of NaNoWriMo this year quite a bit. The other thing that really, really helps is having writing buddies. And whether these are digital writing buddies online through Twitter or the NaNoWriMo site or some other site, or in-person writing buddies, having writing buddies to keep you accountable is super helpful. It's also great because if you have writing buddies or you follow people who are also doing NaNoWriMo online, you can participate in word sprints. Word sprints are just basically encouragement to word vomit. Get as many words out in X amount of time as you can. Myself, Emily, Christina, we're all gonna be doing word sprints this year. We're gonna be participating in each other's. We're gonna be hosting different word sprints and it's gonna be really fun and hopefully be a motivator to keep us all moving forward. Again, I will reiterate, NaNoWriMo novels are not perfect. At the end of NaNoWriMo, your novel, as well as mine, is gonna need a lot of TLC. That in mind, keep pushing forward, write as many words as you can, as often as you can. Whether those words are junk to you or not, spit them out. Don't delete anything, keep going. Talk to people who are gonna help you keep motivated and keep encouraged. Check out the NaNoWriMo forums because there's a lot of useful stuff there. And definitely check out different apps or different computer programs that you might be able to use to help yourself keep writing. I know that some of these tips are pretty basic, but it's what helps me keep going. Having friends to talk to, to write with. I'm hoping to have at least one or two sleepovers with friends in the area, Emily, to write all night or write all day or both. <laughs> I would love to hear down in the comments below what are the prompts or the things that keep you going when you're running out of steam with your novel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week in my last NaNoWriMo video. Bye!